All right, so what do we have here? Well, let's make some money. Oh, crap. Hey, check your truck. It is being broken into. Hmm. You go. I'm gonna open the door and you attack, okay? Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we will set up a car alarm that will notify you if your car is being messed with, like if someone is trying to cut off your catalytic converter or somebody bumped or hit your car. About a month ago, I made a video setting up the Yolink siren as a car alarm, and if you haven't seen it yet, I will link it down below. We are adding another sensor in this video. Now, we are going to set up the Yolink vibration sensor, which is adjustable in sensitivity, so that when there is some shaking or vibration in the car, you will get a notification. And this is the smart thing about this setup. You'll be notified in your phone, wherever you are, that your car is being messed with. And you can set up an automation so as to sound the Yolink speaker hub or set up an Alex A routine to alert you if you are at your house and wake you up if you are fast asleep. You can also add the Yolink siren inside the car itself or somewhere nearby so as to go off when the vibration sensor is triggered. Now this setup will only work for your cars that are parked at your house because for notifications and automations to work, you also need the Yolink hub which needs to connect to the internet. But the wireless signal that is being used by Yolink for the sensor to communicate with the hub is LoRa or long range frequency which it can work up to a quarter of a mile of open air range. So even if your car is parked on the other side of the street, five houses down, or you live in an apartment and the parking is on the other side of the building, this setup will work. Before we set this up, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you. The minimum equipment needed will be the Yolink hub and the sensor, and the Yolink hub which is pretty easy to set up, and I have their speaker hub. In the Yolink app, just click the scan icon on the top right corner and scan the QR code which is on the bottom of the hub. Plug it in using the micro USB power supply that it came with. Wait for it to power up and click Bind Device. Click Setup Wi-Fi Connection. Press and hold the Set button for 5 seconds. Go to your Wi-Fi settings and choose the network the hub is broadcasting. Go back to the Yolink app, choose the Wi-Fi connection in your home, and type in the password. And wait until it is set up successfully. Now time to set up Yolink's vibration sensor, which is its long range up to 1,000 feet in open air. It detects vibration and movement long battery life up to five years, and it has adjustable sensitivity, which we do need to dial it in depending on our setup. It is a small rectangular sensor. We have the set button and a status light. On the back is a 3M mounting tape for mounting. This is the battery compartment, which is powered by two AAA batteries. To set this up, click again the scan button in the Yolink app. Scan the QR code from the sensor and click bind device. And that's it, it is connected. And as you can see, if you associate your Yolink account with Alex A, it will be automatically found and you can easily set up a routine, which we'll do later on. Let's check out the settings of the sensor. Click on the three dots and you can adjust the vibration sensitivity from here. Let's see and try this out. That is pretty quick notification. Let's install this in my truck. I think the best place to install this is in the floor on top of your exhaust system, but I'll just be placing this in the bottom of my center console area. Now I have to dial in the sensitivity, making sure it is sensitive enough to pick up movement and in where I put it, I'm able to set it to level 9 which is pretty high sensitivity and I didn't get any false triggers and I'll keep it at that level. A hard bump or someone sawing something off my truck will definitely trigger it. Now let's set up the automation. First thing you need to do is to go to the settings on the vibration sensor and on the alarm strategy, disable it because if not, you will get notifications anytime. We will schedule the notifications in the automation. On the main page, click smart in the bottom and select automation. Click the plus sign and let's name this truck vibration sensor. Click the plus sign on when, select device actions and look for the vibration sensor, vibration detected. And on the behavior, click the plus sign, let's do notification first, and you can put a customized message in here. Click save. Now let's add another behavior, and this time let's select device actions and choose your speaker hub. You can just pick a notification tone, but you can also have the hub announce a customized message. And you can adjust the volume. Now let's test it. Hey, check your truck. It is being broken into. Cool. Select the check mark to save. And because you don't want this to go off in daytime or when you're using your car, 
we have to schedule this automation. Stuff like this always happens at night or early morning, so I'll set mine from 1am to 6am and every day and click the check mark to save. And if you want an alarm in the car itself or somewhere outside, you can add the battery powered Yolink siren. On device actions, I'll choose the Yolink siren, which I already set up, start alarm and save. So when the sensor gets triggered from 1 a.m. to 6 a.m., I will get a notification in my phone. And also the speaker hub will announce the message and it will also trigger the siren. You can also make an Alex A routine as a backup or if you just have the regular Yolink hub which doesn't have a speaker. On the Alex A app, click more, click routines, click the plus sign to add a routine and name the routine. Click next and choose when this happens. Click smart home and you scroll down and look for the vibration sensor which was automatically added earlier if you associated your Yolink account to Alex A. Choose when detected and click next. Then you have to schedule this also, so from 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. every day and click add action. And for this, let's scroll down and look for send announcement and type in what you want your Echo speakers to announce. Click next and you can choose all your Echo devices or any specific ones that will run this routine. Click next and save. So when the sensor gets triggered on the time frames that I set, I will hear this. Check your truck. It is being ransacked. Check your truck. All right, so let's try this out. Uh, I have to change the setting on my Yolink siren just to go off for one second. Just I don't want to wake up my neighbors. But if somebody tries to saw off something from my truck. <laughs> There you go, and you get a notification. Oops. And you heard that siren. And inside your house, depending on your setup, if you have the speaker hub, you will hear this. Hey, check your truck. It is being broken into. And if you've set up an Alex A routine. Check your truck. It is being ransacked. Check your truck. That should be enough to wake you up. This is a simple smart car alarm setup to protect your vehicles parked outside your home. And as long as you are normally in a schedule and don't touch or use your car in the time frame or time frames that you set the automation for, this should be a set it and forget it setup. Just remember to turn off the automation if you are going to use your car within the time frame. Also, the sensor will disconnect when you drive your car and get out of the Yolix hub range and will automatically reconnect when you get back. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.